Hello, and welcome back to Reinfrastructure. I'm your host, Ryan Landsberg, and today we will be talking about the East Side Access Project, which will bring the Long Island Railroad to Grand Central Station. The station will be about 150 feet below this location, Grand Central, and two dozen elevators and twice that amount of escalators will help bring people down to the station, which will be eight blocks long. That's, that's a pretty long station. That's from 42nd all the way up to 50th Street. It will contain about 25,000 square feet of shopping, which will be very nice for when there are inevitably delays because they're never gonna stop that. And also, there's going to be a big project that will connect it to Sunnyside Yards, which is where the big uh, rail yard is. About that new train car, that is going to be a new type of car which will have an increased capacity and a max speed of 100 miles per hour, which is almost in the high speed rail category, which America doesn't have but would need in the future. And a small but noticeable portion of this project will be funded by one Vanderbilt, which I'll be talking about in the next building spotlight, and it is right up there, but you can't see it yet. This station may not be the flashiest, but it's a necessary part of the system that needs to be built because people love to build these new things. I love it, but sometimes the background stuff is just as important as this will be. It will take a lot of the strain off of Penn Station and give people lots more time to spend with their families, make more money, just be more efficient. And I think that when this project is done, it's going to be a very important thing and a lot of people will be happy it's built. All of this will be wrapped up with the $1 billion expansion to the Sunnyside Yards Rail Yard in Long Island City. It will, after the project is complete, become the spot for another LIRR station. The area will be completely modernized as the tracks and switches have not seen much love lately, as in almost a century. Yeah, that's a pretty long time. So... <clears throat> Once this is done, you'll no longer hear that awful sound of the conductor saying that there is train traffic ahead. During the 2020s, a project similar to Hudson Yards is going to be built above the rail yard, and since Amazon's moving into the area, that's probably going to make the project move even faster as they're going to need more housing in the area, so that should be interesting to see happen as well. They've also just finished adding a lot of redundancy to the LIRR, as in uh, Ronkonkoma to Farmingdale, they've added a second track, and between Hicksville and Floral Park, they've been adding a third track, which a lot more redundancy, fewer delays, more on time, just better overall for everyone, and should be a good addition. One addition to add to that last section is that they're building this all on a previously LIRR owned land, like land owned by the MTA. Therefore, they don't have to eminent domain anyone or buy land from other people driving through new people's houses, which is nice as well. Just good little addition to add. Service on this line is expected to start around late 2022, but with delays, I'm expecting it around maybe March to June of 2023, which is still a long ways away, but eventually it'll be finished and it'll be very helpful. And I think that's the video for today. Uh, click up here if you want to be able to uh, up here. Ugh, I always mess this up. Either up here or up here. If you want to see some more videos, I'll probably link to some building spotlights up here and anywhere. And anyway, thank you for watching Reinfrastructure and see you next time.